What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we are taking a look at Guadalajara. Let me know my pronunciation skills on that because I was practicing all morning. Guadalajara. So this is the deluxe pack in February. And uh, look, it's it's not... Uh, look, if you're a fan of the club, obviously, if you're a fan of this team, obviously, you're going to want to get these. If this was a Manchester United pack with similar players, similar ratings, I'd probably be tempted to get it as well. But there's a lot of these players that are, that are not really worth it, in my opinion. I mean, it's a disappointing pack unless you are starting out in the game. And you want to obviously just get a couple of these guys in to test them out. The biggest issue with all of these cards, and we're going to have a look at the training guides. We're going to have a pick of maybe four or five of the lads to look at in more depth to kind of explain my thoughts on it. But if you take a look at the likes of even this guy. Now, I spun this guy. Uh, he was my free one I got. Um, I spun him. So that was the guy I got. He's a whole player right winger. He's on E rating. He's got standard form. So he's going to be... You know, he's going to be no good to me this week, but from next week on, I will try and test him out. He does have some good stats. We'll get into him in a second. But the biggest problem with most of these cards, man, is the C rating, and they have all got either inconsistent or standard form. I think there's only one or two of them that have unwavering form, um, but they've either got standard or inconsistent form, which is a pity, especially, you know, for the goalkeeper here. You're not really going to be getting a goalkeeper like this in your squad ahead of somebody that you can buy for like 100,000 GP, especially when you're getting a load of stuff. You play 10 games now. If you download the game right now, and there is a lot of newcomers downloading it all the time, if you download the game right now and play 10 matches, win, lose, or draw, if you lose every game 10-0, as long as you're completing the objectives and, you know, scoring a few goals here and there, keeping a clean sheet here and there, whatever... Um, you will get a lot of GP with doing the events. And then that's not even talking about the offline, which you can just sim. So you can build a pretty decent squad from that. But anyway, on to this one, right? We are going to just start with these uh, lesser skilled and lesser rank uh, overall rating players, right? This guy's got inconsistent form. He's a left back, offensive full back, early crosser. He does also have pinpoint crossing. So you are going to be using him exactly as that, a cross first specialist um, but looking at his stats, I mean, yeah, he can go a couple of levels. Obviously, he's got 31 levels to go. 77 speed and acceleration, 74 lofted pass, not bad. Obviously, 74 curl as well. Stamina is quite decent, but you're going to be giving up a lot of stuff on the defensive side of the game. You need to have some bit of defense there as well. So even if you were to put 20 points um, or 10 points into speed and acceleration, you're still only be going to be getting, you know, 87 in speed and acceleration, and then you're going to be getting maybe your lofted pass up to, uh, you know, 84. And that's going to mean that your player is still going to be kind of low. Um, he's not really worth it. We also have Flores here. This guy has got standard form. He doesn't have that many player skills, man marking and interception. He's not bad. Obviously, we will take a quick look at him over on eFootball DB because he does go to an 86 overall. Um, and we've trained him as such. We've three into passing, four into dribbling, six into dexterity, nine into lower body strength, five into aerial strength, and 10 into defending. Now, you don't have to make him that defensive if you don't want to. But I think that that's probably the best version of him as an anchorman. You don't want pace with this guy. You want him to stay back as much as you possibly can. So lock his acceleration to 70, his speed to 75. That brings up his stamina and his physical contact with the aerial strength. And then you could upgrade his passing. If you wanted to take maybe a little bit away from this, you could. You could put his stamina down at 85 and you could put his passing up a little bit, but it's not going to make a massive difference to the card. In my personal opinion, I don't think that he's going to be, you know, a really reliant DMF um, based on his stats there. We also have this guy here, Brizuela, Brizuela, Brizuela. And he's got some fairly decent stats as well as a right midfielder, but that lack of pace is going to come back, obviously, against him. If you are, right, I'm going to be doing a video very soon whether you should play wingers or right midfielders, and I'm going to have an explanation for that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on him, even though he is one of the players that has a real face in this. We also have Mozo. This guy isn't too bad. He's a right back. So there's about three or four players in this that are very similar stats, very similar kind of like feel to him. Um, and this guy is one of them that I'm going to pick to just have another closer look at because he does go to an 87 overall and he does have pinpoint crossing and early crosser, um, which means that you will be able to get some nice balls into the box for him. So obviously we are going to be just, even though he is like fast, he's a fast player, we're going to be just focusing a lot on his dribbling and passing and getting the ball into the box. So 
That is how we've maxed him out there. 12 into passing, 4 into dribbling, 8 into dexterity, 6 into lower body, and then 8 into defending. So if you want to make him a little bit more defensive uh, or less defensive, you could just lock that at 80 aggression. That would be enough when you're not controlling him. The AI will still kick in there with the engagement and the aggression. And you could put a couple of more into dribbling, but the tight possession at 65, even at that, is going to be an issue, even though he's got good speed and acceleration. Similarly, we've got this guy Vega, who's a left winger. He's got really, really good speed and dribbling, 88 balance, 90 acceleration, 82 speed and 89 dribbling. But again, he is somebody that you're going to have to learn to play with, I think, compared to some of the other top class uh, wingers in the game. Now, what I like about this guy is he does have unwavering form. He's one of the only players in this pack that does, but he has very, very few player skills. He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have heel trick. He doesn't have chop turn any of those stuff um his amazing run there is fine but i would have liked to have seen a speeding bullet one just to be able to burst past and make those runs when the ai are controlling so he's a bit of a disappointment as well it's just a weird kind of pack man um this goalkeeper i mean when you look at his reflexes there with 23 levels and it's only at 73 even if you pump in every stat into uh, reflexes you're not going to get it into the 90s so that's again uh you know nowhere near going to be in my squad or any of my squads really he doesn't even have long throw and he doesn't have unwavering form which is a bit of a pity um we also have this guy here orozco he's not a bad player either but again he's he's just not worth it in my opinion as a center back way too slow doesn't have as enough defensive stats he is fairly tall but he doesn't have any blocker or interception so that's a big no-no for me this is another center half olivas olivas um he has standard form he does have interception but he doesn't have blocker he's you know better obviously uh defensively but he's a bit small and there's just so many good goal or good good players there now that you can buy now this guy is Supulveda. he's not a bad player either as a center back he's got some nice defensive stats but no player skills at all um which is a pity and i think that a lot of these players man when you are bringing them out they need to actually you know make them viable to be able to be used in dream team because these aren't you'd be at a disadvantage using these players unless you're a big fan of them or a big fan of the team now this guy is interesting enough right he's probably one of the picks of them as well we do have him up here he doesn't have a massive amount of player skills he does have double touch he's got no passing skills so he's going to be kind of like a box-to-box -box engine man you don't need to worry too much about his passing because of the way he plays even if you boost up his passing a good bit it's not going to make a massive difference to him so i would all be about like just kind of getting defensive stats onto this guy and train him up that way something similar to that maybe have his speed and acceleration up 88 overall as a center midfielder and then last but not least we have alvarado so i actually spun this guy alvarado he is on standard form as well but he's on e rating now this is what i've trained him up to so i've just popped one into shooting seven into passing 13 into dribbling 11 into dexterity and five into lower body strength so i think the most one of the most important um stats now in v2.4 is tight possession and ball control they're very very important i'm going to be doing another video on that very soon as well but that is it lads that is it from me and that is just the pack guadalajara that is done there fighting spirit as well on that card it's an interesting card but yeah he's not going to be making my squad unfortunately i will train him up and see what he looks like uh, if i have the trainers but yeah i don't think he'll make my squad but bit of a disappointing pack let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip this and i'll be back soon peace